is very, very low this morning. Um, or if you reach out to any of the ashes or any member of the fellowship, they will be able to direct you to it. Also, if you come first, if you love the service, we would like you to sign up. Please contact our sister Chioma, who's not here, or our brother Pony, that's not in the way, so everyone knows. Our Sunday school teachers can also clean up and pamper as well. Okay? Amen? Are we ready for the first, last Sunday of January? Are you ready to receive? Hey, fellowship, are you ready to receive? Amen? Amen. So I would like to call um, for Take Five today, Minister Eugene will do a Take Five, and then for Offertory, Minister Sam will do um, offering, and then Faith Unlimited will give us the song administration. Amen? Minister Eugene? Do we see God as a good father? This is the question. Do we see God as a good father? Yes. Do we see God as a good father? Yes. Has he been faithful to you in the past? That's another question. Has he? Yes. Okay. This chuckles down to my verse, Psalms. 116 verse 12. So what shall I render unto the Lord for all the benefits towards me? Amen? Amen. If the person sitting next to you, whether you're left or right, will tell you what he or she has gone through, it will blow your mind. Amen. Sing on to the Lord. But please, do not give the Lord Dunkin' Donuts change or change from McDonald's. Amen.
because you support Juventus. It is not because you want to look like a keyboard. It is because you want to commiserate and show love to our sister Esther and her amazing family who yesterday bid farewell to their husband, their father, their friend, their brother, their nephew, their in-law, Jeffrey Mensa. And so this morning, the family is here to express their appreciation to Almighty God that even though they cannot fully comprehend the circumstances of these events, that whatever he has done, it is still marvelous in their eyes and that they are grateful. For that reason, in the next few minutes, the power will lead us to sing the hymn, and then I will call forth uh, the family, and uh, we will say a word of prayer, and then we will give them an opportunity also to express verbally their thanks, because what good is thanks if it's not spoken out, right? What many of us as need to find a seat shall do so quickly, and if there's no reason why you are standing, please locate a seat. Amen. Amen. God bless you. The Bible tells us that whenever one of us is believed to share in their pain, and when one of us is blessed to share in their joys, it is a matter of fact that in this life, not every day will be a day of happiness and joy. But the Bible tells us in Nehemiah 8 verse 10 that the joy of the Lord is our strength. Doing life right on the back of the power of our choice. And this morning, as we come together as a family, we are saying that we choose to celebrate. We choose to say to the Lord, thank you. We choose to say that even though we might not fully understand, we understand that we don't understand. But yet we say thank you for who you are. Because our confidence right on the back of one thing, there is a rock that is our certainty in life. Amen. Amen. Can I have the choir rise on the feet, please? Faith Unlimited. And will lead us to sing uh, the hymn, Captain of Israel, Souls and Die. Um, if you will look carefully, if you want to stand up with us, I will be very appreciated too.
seated in heavenly places. Uh, Lord, can we just leave the refrain on there for me? What a glorious end that will be when one day we arrive on those shores and we celebrate before Jesus our Lord because we have made it. Amen. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, at this time we will invite the family of Jeffrey Mensah to come forward and we will say a word of prayer over them and then we will ask the family um, to also tell us something before we get into um, the uh, choir's ministration and the word. So family, if you could please rise on your feet. If you are black and white and you feel connected enough, uh, you can just rise to your feet and come forward. Amen. The beautiful thing about being a Christian is that there is neither Greek nor Jew, neither Hebrew nor, 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 nor Samaritan, for all are one in Christ Jesus and all remain the same till the end of time. Amen. Amen. So, Magifi, it's good to see you. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Adonai, you are Alpha and you are Omega. In the beginning you were, when the mysteries of life and death were not in contemplation of creation, you already ruled. We thank you for the gift you gave to this world of Jeffrey Menza. We thank you for a life well lived and a life well celebrated. We thank you that Father it has pleased you that through it all he returns from whence he came. And Lord, that you have given us a conviction that whilst we remain on this earth, in the tent we call our earthly home, a time comes when we must exit and go to a more permanent abode. For people who live in tents are on either on vacation or refugees. But when we return to the place where we have been designated to a permanent abode, we dwell in houses. Thank you that our brother, our father, our daddy, our friend, our companion has returned to eternal glory. And this morning the family sings with one heart and one accord that to you alone is the glorious Christ. Thank you that we celebrated his life and we interred his remains yesterday. That we gathered again, Lord, in the evening to do that with tradition demands and yet not a single person was a casualty of an unfortunate event because of your presence. We thank you and this morning we say, Lord, to you alone is the glorious Christ. In Jesus' name, comfort the widow, comfort the children, comfort the family. Holy Spirit, you are the legacy of Calvary. You are our friend and our companion. Speak your peace only as you can get into their hearts now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Can we get a microphone? Uh, is there a representation? A representative of the family? No, no, how are you? Uh, please get the microphone. Preach to <laughs> I'll try, but I can't. Well, on behalf of the family, uh, first of all, I'd like to thank Pastor and his wife. You guys were there uh, for my brother. Uh, we want to be there with the Lord. You are the hospital, as uh, we saw him go. Uh, the walls want to thank the whole congregation. You guys have uh, supported us and also supported us. Uh, Supporting the wife and the children, your outpour uh, support is very grateful, I appreciate it, and I want to thank the whole congregation for a job well done. We are not done yet, but I know you guys will keep up with us and help the whole, the whole family uh, through this. It's not an uh, easy thing for us, but we're going to have to go through it. And we want to thank you for all the things you've done for us. We appreciate that. Thanks. Thank you so much, also. Um, I have um, a great men here who knew us when we were teenagers in Mount Olivet in Dansuman. And um, it is always a pleasure to see you, um, Uncle Enos, and all of you um, that came from Canada and other places. God richly bless you. Amen. 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 All I can say is Maranatha. Maranatha. Amen. Amen. Please take the seats in heavenly places. Thank you so much. Put your hands together for the family.
We lift our hands in worship as we bless your holy name. You deserve the glory and the honor. Lord, we lift our hands in worship as we bless your holy name. For you
of quick housekeeping and then we proceed. Amen. Um, if you were here this morning, you are new to the service or you are no full of a friend and you will be here in a minute. Uh, there's a service coordinator, handsome gentleman in a black suit, three-piece suit. If you have any problem, please talk to him or the ushers in the back, they'll be able to help you. Amen.